Couldn't break the sleeve off. of Golden Score. It's the first day of the Grand Slam in Antalya and I'm delighted to be standing alongside and to have joining me for the second time, I think, uh, Thea Cowan, the European Judo Union Communications Manager. That's Thea. right. Well, thank you very much for having me again, of Thanks course. Thanks very much for coming along. Now, thank last you. time, you, did you join us when we had the three Georgians swamp us? I did indeed. <laughs> I was there, yes. And I think today's going to be a little bit different with some lighter weights, but all from one country. Right. Well, we've got four gold medal winners to bring you today. They're all from France. And I'm going to ask you, uh, uh, I'm going to wave and say, anytime you're ready, <laughs> you guys can come in. It's, it's an incredible situation to have. They really, really came in. I'm going to make yeah. some room. Make some Absolutely. room. Absolutely. Amandine, Get them in. be brave. Okay, Blondine, you come in first then. Blondine Pont, Luca McKidze, come on in. Amandine Bouchard, and my favourite, Maxime Gobert. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, what a lineup. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to ask Thea to start with Blondine Pont because your weight category was first. So, Thea, take it Thank away. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, huge congratulations. It's your third Grand Slam title in a row. So, how are you feeling about your preparation for today and, of course, your performance in that final? Yes, yes, uh, I'm very happy about this, um, this competition, but uh, it's not my final. Um, objective mm -hmm. uh, I have the word in the one month and uh, I will uh, keep my um, concentration to to go to to take what I what I want mm -hmm. and you're playing catch-up as well in your weight category as well what? you're playing catch-up in your weight category as well you have a number one seed Shireen Bukli I think you you're number 11 yes, in so the world ranking list <laughs> yes 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 um, this competition uh, I had this objective to to win some points to mm -hmm. to have a better uh, ranking um, uh, ranking uh, classment. Uh, so um, <laughs> they are not fine. Uh, so I'm happy, yes, because I I, I took some points and now uh, I I I improve my um, my uh, classment. Your number, yeah. Yes, my Perfect. number. Well, congratulations! It was a brilliant final. Uh, I think we may have some uh, some some footage of Blondine. So, for my English. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk us through the final? Uh, yes, um, I just wanted to do my judo, and when I won, I didn't realize immediately because uh, we didn't know if uh, the Ipon was okay, and after I, I was very happy and uh, and yes it's a good uh, movement also togari my favorite <laughs> very happy with it then yes <laughs> looking back and this is yes no that's all ah yes <laughs> I, I tried to, to to do a a you know the later because yeah. my c'est quoi comment dit yes my um, New, new the, 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 um, the baby of her sister. Yes. Aww. His name, uh, her name is Angel, and so I wanted to. to that is lovely. That, that is so sweet. Yes. You know, I'm touched by sorry, that. Sorry, even with the tip fingers. <laughs> yes, I tried to do A, but it was a very big uh, fail. Yes. Well, well done. <laughs> yes, thank well, you. I'll tell you what, Blondin, that was such a lovely story, but I know that Luca also has something. So I wanted, wanted to hear something yes, yes, yes. <laughs> from I you didn't... now. So come, it's your turn. Um, first or second Grand Slam gold medal? Oh, you're going to do the translation? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. And, you know, and the, the first one, it was also this year, wasn't it? Yes. You have to give him the microphone. Okay. Right. <laughs> yes, uh, my first uh, gold medal in Grand Slam, it was uh, uh, in Israel uh, this year. And now it's uh, my second gold medal in Grand Slam. Yeah, I mean, it's terrific because you, you waited for a while. There were a few that, that you came to. And it, can you just talk us through? Let's have a look at uh, you on the big screen as well. Actually, this is the better one. <laughs> you see, he's also. C'est pas pour peur à mes adversaires. 
Tommy was at eight. Nice score. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, did, did, <laughs> did, did, did you feel during the contest that you could score against him? Est-ce que tu as senti pendant ton combat que tu pouvais le faire tomber? C'était dur. Oui, j'ai senti parce que c'est un adversaire que je prends beaucoup en yes, fait euh, sur les stages. Oui, il parce qu'il fight a lot avec lui dans le training camp. Donc il sait qu'il peut le faire avec lui. Ok, donc, had you, you had not heard the national anthem yet from France, yeah? because we didn't, have the, we didn't have the awarding ceremony. But when it came to you, you had already heard the, yes, the anthem. Yes, I was like, was okay, this an inspiration? one final check, second final check, and I was like, Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do this. <laughs> well, congratulations, Thank uh, you. Luka Kidze. Let's talk about you, uh, Amandine, because I think you are the senior uh, athlete uh, in the team. <laughs> you still look young, but you know, you, you, you are just from the, the age. And uh, how old are you? Okay, right, we'll leave that. <laughs> we won't, we won't say. <laughs> okay, but looking good, looking strong, and you had to go against the world number one. She's number one on the world ranking list. Tell me about the, uh, your feelings about that contest. Really, I wasn't thinking about the first place in the ranking list. I was thinking about, okay, the last time I lost uh, <laughs> the Kumaikin Master. So I was like, she will be a big concurrent for Olympic Games and uh, we will have a lot of fight together. And I was like, okay, now it's my moment. I have to win it and it will be good for my man for World Championship. So and it, was a, it was a strong fight. Yes, it's every time a strong fight because, you know, in this level, it's like we know her really good. It's only a strong uh, judoka and it's really hard to throw in this moment. So I was like in my mind, okay, patience, patience. This will work. Be patient. Uh, my colleague, who is standing in the background there, was a world champion herself at under 52 kilos. And she said, as soon as the arm goes over, look at Bouchard. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me happy. I will try my best for this. It's my dream. I want to win, um, I want to win a world championship and Olympic Games. So I try to work a lot and step by step coming close of this goal. Okay, and let's have a look on the big screen and see if that's the case. Because as soon as Chelsea put the arm over, you were underneath yes. and she was over. I, I, when sometimes I, I look like I'm not good in the Kumikata or, you know, the other one is stronger, I love to attack in this moment because I feel like confidence and I'm like, okay, it's my moment. And she know what I do, you know, we know. I still couldn't stop it. So I was like, in the fight, I was like, okay, I have to work with my new technique, like more rote, o soto, and I was like, I will try my katagoma in the good moment. Okay, so Blondine already had the Grand Slam medal. Mm -hmm. um, Luca already had the Grand Slam medal. You have many Grand Slam medals, gold medals. But for you, you were the virgin of the team, yeah? Ah, <laughs> still had a Grand yes, Slam medal, but not gold. <laughs> it's my um, second medal. Uh, I picked one uh, in uh, Tokyo uh, in December. So, yes, um, first gold and uh, feel good to be uh, on the top of the podium. And uh, yes, it's, uh, it was a very, cold, uh, very, cold, very difficult day and uh, yes, um, a good day. I wanted to ask you about the thoughts of not, not just this competition, but going towards the world championships. Was this in, in your mind, coming here and scoring points and, and going up? Uh, yes, it's important to me. But um, unfortunately, I don't uh, do uh, the world championship because uh, I'm a uh, uh, three uh, in the fr French uh, ranking. So, uh, yes, uh, I, want, uh, I wanted to prove me and uh, prove uh, ourselves. Uh, I can do it. I can do it. I can uh, catch a, a gold medal in, in a big competition with a lot of uh, level, a lot of uh, good guys. So, yes, I'm, I'm very happy of it. Right, well, I'm happy for you. I'm happily for the, uh, happy for the whole quartet. I'm not so happy that one, two, three, four times I heard the Marseillais, but, you know, <laughs> we couldn't avoid, avoid it. So congratula congratulations to all of you. I know you were up super early 
this morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let, let you go, yeah. get some rest, a <laughs> little you. bit of celebration, some mineral water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. Congratulations, all of you. Okay, good luck. Congratulations, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Amandine, Londine, Luca, and Maxime Cobert. It really was a terrific performance uh, from the French. And all jokes yeah. aside, when you get a team that is that strong, it, it's difficult to stop. Not one, not two, but three and four. And the only yeah. um, one that they didn't take a medal win in Isn't was the under 57 kilo category, and it was because they didn't have one, anyone in that weight. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think they had a fantastic day. And like you said, once they get one, two, and three, it, the ball's rolling. But especially because he's one of the younger ones in the team, it's and they've got such a close team as well. I think it's a great yeah. thing for him. Right, now, most of the time we are quite lucky here and we get to talk to the gold medal winners or at least medal winners. But today there was a little, something a little bit special happened. We had an athlete who was uh, ranked 156 mm -hmm. on, the, on the world ranking list. She ended <laughs> up fighting the current world champion and took her into golden score. It yeah. really was a terrific performance. Tell us a little bit a, a, about her. So we have a Latvian athlete. She's only 20 years old. She won in the Riga Senior European Cup a couple of weeks ago, uh, Anastasia. And I spoke to her federation today. They're very excited about her. They think she's going to do very well. And after today's performance, I'm not so surprised. Yeah, and, that, and we're, we're talking uh, about uh, Anastasia, I can't remember the surname Sogyanska. there. Sogyanska. Sogyanska, right. Well, I'll have to get used to that because <laughs> I did go to chat to her. Uh, uh, you know, lovely young girl, 20 years old, mm -hmm. uh, as, as Thea says. So maybe someone uh, to look at. And she gave, she gave she Rafaela Silva a really, yeah. really good uh, run for her money. Rafaela Silva closed the day out uh, for us with a gold medal winning performance against... What, the number two in the world, Krista <laughs> de Gucci of Canada? Your mm -hmm. thoughts on that, Thea? Honestly, if I'd have put bets on it, I may have gone the other way just because the stats were stacked in favour of de Gucci. But, I mean, she's strong. She's come back. I feel it's taken her a little while to jump back into it. But Silva might be looking for another one. I mean, she's the current world champion, so... And there's that, there, is, there is that inescapable battle, yeah. you know, in Canada going on oh, between the Gucci well, and Klim K yeah. that continues. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw it last week when uh, Klim K ended up with, with a bronze, bronze medal. medal. And, and this week, the uh, Gucci, who were really yeah. would have wanted to have gone uh, to, to the World Championships with that gold medal in the pocket, ended up taking second place and losing to the current it's world champion. A never-ending battle, isn't it? But, I mean, looking at that throw there, in the final seconds as well, you could hear... All the Brazilians in the crowd really, really ran for us, so it was brilliant. Right, OK, well, that's all that we've got for you on this uh, edition of Golden Score. We're going to be back tomorrow with more uh, action on day two of competition at the Antalya Grand Slam. But from Thea Cowan and myself, it's bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.